Someone! <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. So, you getting used to this place? Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Me, huh? No apologies? Uh, my trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadanaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and... Oh, um... Uh, I'm... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back.
Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? <gasps> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow, I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. 
It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um... Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown? And they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <sighs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no?
Are you okay? Okay.